I know I haven't uploaded much, but I'm hoping that what I'm going to share with you in some of the uploads, not just this one, but the other ones, are really fun and entertaining for you to watch. This is a massive, huge village I came across in Minecraft. When I was out exploring, I was shocked to find this village. This village is really huge, and then there is something behind this village that makes it even much better and then something behind that particular area which is another village over to the left so this village I came across looked like it was pretty much supposed to be like an abandoned village and something happened to it that caused like all the villagers to either run and flee or die um each home has like beds and a chest in it and some of the chests have like a nice amount of inventory in it um, but I want to I don't want to cut this too much because I just want you to get an idea of seeing how everything is in the village how huge the village is and what was in the village and just an idea of how massively huge this village is now, what I'm gathering from the storyline, looking at this village, this village had like villagers who were in it that was probably maybe working together or some kind of way to make it very, very huge. But as you see, I'm looking up there like this is another part of it. And when I get to this part, this part is way different than the one at the bottom. This part looked like it was abandoned for a very, very, very long time up here. Because you see spider webs are all on the building. And this is just another part. Like I said, behind that village is another part. And behind this one is another part. Now, this is the village I came from. And this is the one behind that one. And then there, like I'm pointing my sword over there. There's something over on that side. And behind that, over on that side in the sandy area, there is something behind that particular one. So, it has so much hidden stuff in this village in the village is so huge and there are so many things connected to it that make it even more fun for you to go into so what i'm doing here is i'm just going through trying to find and see what's in there but it's going to get night so i'm eventually going to go to sleep but as you can see this was just a second part of the village this wasn't the main entrance of the village it was like this particular village had took some kind of damage to it and some of the buildings on this particular part of the village, the side of the wall is off. And the, and the other part of the village, it's not like that. It's like people were living there and it just mysteriously kind of like disappeared. So this village is really huge. It's really massively big. It had, like you can see, like the side of that side was apparently off. Like something was supposed to have uh, blew it up or something happened. Something bad happened. And so, uh, I just couldn't believe how big this village was. It has a lot of stuff in it that if your your village is low, or if you're low in food, you can come and take anything here. But the village I'm in, I actually don't need anything, so I'm doing fine. So that's why I really didn't take any crops or anything like that, because I had stuff already. But, um, as you can see, this particular area, the door is off. But inside the chest, boom. I found diamonds. I found so much good stuff in this village while I was in the village looking around. There was so much stuff in there to take. It was so much stuff that I can bring back home. But eventually, I decided to go to bed because it's getting dark and I don't want to deal with any creatures or mobs by the night. But um, the good thing is I didn't really have to deal with anything that was really bad in this village. It was just one thing that was particularly, um, you know, um, the mob that blows up when you're close to it. Um, but he was at a distance from me. So I decided to start going ahead and looking around the village and see what's in here. But as I said, this village is so massively huge. It's just, I, I couldn't believe I came across something like this. And I like going out and exploring and looking around and seeing what I can find and what I can bring back to my village where I where my little character is. Um, but it has so much stuff that you can use to build with. You can, you know, chop the buildings down. 
um, you can collect so much stuff in this village and it just has a lot of mess of things in it. And it's really nice to come across it. So as I say, as you can see, um, as I play the game even more and more, you see like over to the right, there's something over in that corner to the right. And then on top of that, behind that in that sand area where all that sand is in that little that building that's over there, there is something over to the left of that building. I didn't get a chance to go there because eventually I have like, I think I went to something else behind that maybe. And, but I, it's, you're going to see the more and more I explore this area, how big it is and how many things are over here and how many buildings are over here and how much stuff is over here. Then I go back here and there's more. See like that area, that's more of the village. That, it, it was a gigantic village. I could not believe what I was finding. I just couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe it. I had never really seen a village like this before. Never in my game. I've seen a village where I come across and there's something on top of the mountain where it's a half of a building. But other than that, no, not like this. This was so big. I just, I had never seen it. It was so much stuff in here. It was still like emeralds and diamonds. It had so much stuff in here, but I got to the point where I really wanted to go over there in the area by the sand. Because I really wanted to see what was over there um, just in case I came across something even better than what I was finding. As you can see, there's apples, there's food in here. I didn't really need these leather pans and um, chests. I closed the door because I thought I heard something coming. But um, it's actually the sheeps and stuff walking around. But um, this village has so much in it. But I could have heard something coming because you're going to hear like a familiar noise. That is, that's one of the reasons I took off. Uh, to go over in the area where the sand was uh, to see what was over there because I thought I heard like you know the one particular mob that you know we run from but um it, it's it's so huge I didn't know if I was going in the building I had already been in I didn't know if I was going into a building that I had been in or had not been in I couldn't even tell you know uh, because it was so huge I couldn't even tell I would need like maybe to figure out which door I'm going into if I've been in that door before I would need like maybe different colored you know torches to put up so I can say okay I've been to this one you know like I know we have the red but the red is also for something to help things run but this village was really really huge I had never seen it look there's something up on that mountain up there I I had never really seen anything this big never 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 this big this was really new for me never this big and i think this particular chest might have diamonds you know has emeralds and then i come across um just so much stuff and i couldn't be and i didn't even search search the rest of the buildings in this village i just kind of looked at the ones that i could get to really quickly and as you can see my inventory is really full and I'm trying to make sure I hold on to some food because I still have like a little distance to get back home. And I don't want to lose anything. But like I said, this village was really massively big. It was really huge. I had never really seen anything this big at all. Never. Never in my life that I played Minecraft had I seen anything. More diamonds. Not this big. I've come across villages that are like really weird looking. I've seen players play uh, Minecraft and come across a castle, but it normally have the pillagers in there. I've seen, uh, you know, people come across pretty, you know, really nice areas. See, that sounded like the witch, that particular noise. That's what made me decided to start leaving. Um, that actually sounded like the witch to me. And so I decided, okay, you know, it's time for me to go because there's definitely something under that, that particular ground, under that area. So I go over here and then I come across this area. Then when I get up here, you'll see me start pointing with my sword 
and it's because there's another village over in that area there's something over there I didn't I don't think I got to that area but I'm not really for sure so I'm looking around like am I really seeing this like it's a another area that I can go in and find some treasure you know steal you know steal some stuff <laughs> take some stuff but um this was really cool to find it was really nice to find this come across a village like this I had never seen anything particularly like this this was the first for me you know I've been in areas where the, you know I would come across village where there's sometimes villagers there and then maybe one village that may be empty um I think in my other game that I play um I mean uh Xbox I play Minecraft on there the village I'm in is empty not because it was abandoned but because all the villagers were killed off by the zombies and the witch so there was a witch always coming over there throwing like potions and stuff and then the zombies would come over there and of course kill them off or turn them into zombies theirself and I at that time I had not a clue how to cure them how to help them in any kind of way but this village had so much stuff in it I just couldn't believe what I was finding so right now I'm trying to go down to the bottom on this side because I believe that area down there has like some kind of trap or some kind of bug that kind of activates something to to ignite or some kind of way so I'm trying to make sure I'm going the right direction to get to it uh, also digging in here I'm hearing that there's like some kind of skeleton somewhere around so if I dig the wrong way I might run into the skeleton so I'm not really for sure exactly at this point which way to go but I just know let me just keep going down and there's like four chests down there so I just actually stay right here and just you know drop down and then walk over to the left and then open them from where I am because there's no need for me to go down there as long as I can see like that I can open them from where I'm standing I'm fine and so now I got to make some room for this gold and so I'm trying to figure out like okay how I'm going to make room for it you know but um I had never seen anything like this this was really new for me very new I never seen anything this close now I've I've passed by places like this before but because I was running from pillagers or zombies or something I didn't even bother to make a stop and so here's an enchanted uh, book which is really nice finding all these particular fun things to find and so coming across it I just couldn't believe what I was looking at So like I said, I didn't want to cut it too much because I wanted you to get kind of an idea of what I was coming across and um, how big it was, how massively huge it was. And so I felt no need to really chop it up unless I was pausing somewhere in the middle of the game. That's the only way you would see, you know, like a chop because I'm just sitting in idle for a few minutes. But like I said, this this particular area that I went to was so huge. I just could not believe what I was finding and what I was coming across. And coming across all this and looking at all of I I I just could not believe it. I just could not believe it. I could not believe it. Me, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to work and get all these different things in my inventory so I can get back home because see I have like a distance to go I'm not like very close to where my village is where I, where my character lives at it I have a distance to go so I have to try to run back with the diamonds that I found run back with the enchanted books finding them and all this other supplies that I found I have to try to run back and then I'm trying to figure out where are these skeletons I hear them but actually where are they so I come out running because I don't know exactly where they are but when I come out I don't see them so they must be like somewhere in the wall somewhere where they're supposed to be positioned at you know so if you actually you know hit open that particular area is what I'm thinking like if you you know pick X in the area where they might be at 
then they will activate that to ignite or blow up whatever is going on so at this point i wanted to go back to that section now look this is supposed to be i guess a bridge for you to walk through and the interpretation of what i'm getting from that is that um the bridge blew up so now i think what i'm going to do is go back in here and then go to sleep you know because at this point it's getting dark it's getting late and i don't want to be out there and then i wind up getting stuck in the spider web for a minute but it it it, it was really huge it was a huge village. I had never in my life seen anything that big. Now, that was huge. And so at this point, I'm just like, okay, I got to get back home. I got to get the stuff back home. I got to get find some way to get back home. But I want to come back to this area and kind of explore it a little bit more and see what I can find, what I can come across in that village way over there uh back there and there's another one back there and see if that one is empty you know because i am like i cannot believe what i'm coming across here and what i'm seeing you know uh what made me stop for a minute was because i ran over by the crops and i saw like some uh seeds like some um you know the green seeds you find in the grass and i was trying to figure out well, you know how did it get in the crops you know so i just decided you know it's just time for me to go back home and and just get out of here but normally when i'm exploring is when i come around come across like really nice things um normally when i'm exploring and looking around in minecraft is when i come across things like this like villages or like supplies diamonds and stuff so a lot of times I'm not out there mining for diamonds. I'm normally just going to villages and trying to find something um, in any village that might have something that I want. And so that's how I kind of come across a lot of uh, stuff. Now I've gotten stuff. Now right here I started, I don't know why I started getting confused. Like, okay, like which way am I going? But as you can see that village was really huge i didn't want to cut it or anything i wanted you to get an idea of how big the village was how huge the village was just so you can get kind of like an idea but i wanted to just share that with you today so if you come across this village it has a lot of stuff in there so i'll see you next time and you have a blessed day bye bye